When visitors start searching on your website or app, they might use natural language. For example, making full sentences like a t-shirt that is white, which is a clumsy way of querying, but some users might use that, so we need to try and interpret the intention behind the query. To guess what they meant and then reformulate the query to something that the engine can better understand. Query rules enable us to implement a simple form of user intent detection. For example, when searching for a cheap jacket based on our catalog, we know jackets range from $30 to $400. This is up to us then to interpret what cheap means in that context. Here, I'll decide that it's below $50. So now let's make sure to display only jackets that cost less than $50. So we start with a condition. We should trigger our rule whenever a search query contains both words cheap and jacket. Therefore, we make the pattern to be cheap jacket and the anchoring contains. Okay, cool. Next, the consequence. We have five more parameters to configure. We want to exclude expensive jackets, so we want to pass a params object which contains a filters attributes. So params, filters, and this is just a query parameter, so a numeric filter, I will want it to be below 50, so inferior or equal to 50. We also need to remove the word chip from the query since it's very unlikely to be included in our records. And this requires us to add a few nested attributes inside params. There we specify the type of edit, remove, and the word to remove chip. Edits, uh, it's an array because we can have multiple edits and then the first object is type remove, as we said, and the word we want to delete. And all this inside our index.save rule, calling the script. Now, if we search for chip jacket in our website, well, we can see that only jacket costing less than 50 bucks are showing up thanks to our new query rule. There you have it. Query rules is a very versatile feature and this is only scratching the surface of what you can do with them. So feel free to dig into our docs to find out even more cool ways to use them. Thank you for following us throughout this Build 201 series focusing on e-commerce search. If you followed along through the whole track, then you have all the tools necessary to build the best search experience for your e-commerce websites and your users. Thanks for staying with us and uh, see you next time.